Hi everyone, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Cheers! This is going to be a reading for the zodiac sign of Leo. How are you doing, my darlings? This is a general reading, so not all the messages here are going to resonate with you. But if it does, claim it 100%. I want you to check the sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus placements in your chart. Google free birth chart calculator. Put in all your birth details. Allow Google to calculate your chart for you. Watch all those readings on my channel. And I guarantee you, there will be additional messages there for you. I'm going to start by taking three cards from Myla Normans, just to see what Leo needs to know right now, right now. My Leos. The cards are sticking. Okay. The cards were really sticking. Somebody's being very, very stubborn. <laughs> All right. So you're showing up as a girl next door. This is somebody who, you know, there are two uh, girls as in, in this deck. One is this, who is very, uh, what can I say? You know, carefree, easygoing, the girl next door. Not too much of makeup. Somebody who's very simple, who is a naturally, you know, beauty, a natural beauty, somebody who believes in that. Look at her sitting in a library with a rose in her hand and reading a book. So this, you are showing up as somebody who is very easygoing, extremely, um, well, what can I say? I don't know why I feel somebody here is either giving an exam or they're studying for something. I don't know if you're going to get a degree or you're going to, you're doing some course. You also have a rose in your hand, which tells me that you could be somebody who's open, open to find love, okay? And you're waiting to give this rose to someone, but you are eyeing someone. She's looking at somebody. Do you have your eye on somebody, Leo? You're showing up as a very easygoing, carefree, um, girl next door kind of a woman, somebody whose hair is down, very casual, very confident, very intelligent. You're studying something. You're, you know, you are serious about your career. There's something going on here with you. I'm getting this message about you taking a course or a class. Now, you are open to finding love. And I think you have your eyes on somebody. You have your eyes on someone. And then the whip. It's a very harsh energy. This is number 11. And there's a letter J here. I don't know if... Uh, this would mean something to some of you. But when this whip energy comes in, it's a very harsh energy. You know, a whip is never a slow move. It's a real hard. You know, for me, sometimes this is something coming out of the blue, out of the blue. Like you were not expecting something and something just comes in from, I don't know, left of field and just whip something off. I don't know if this is an energy of some harsh information coming in which removes some rose tinted glasses that you've been wearing or the whip is about punishment no when when you think about the whip the first thing that comes to your mind is somebody you know being whipped as punishment i mean it's a very harsh energy have you been okay punishing yourself why do i feel that some of you feel that love is not for you and you've been punishing yourself because you've, I don't know what this um, energy could mean for you. But this could mean either something just coming very suddenly and whipping those glasses off your face and showing you something. This could also be punishment where you've been punishing yourself. But this is also about arguments, conflict, debate, scolding someone, opposition, objections. Are you having arguments with somebody? putting this out there now now but I see this anchor I'll give you two meanings here either some of you have been stuck because you know this anchor has kept you stuck somewhere and you've not been able to move is the whip going to come in and whip that anchor off so that you're set free I feel this I feel this and the other message from this card that I get loud and clear is that some of you have been trying to set up home somewhere 
or some of you have been trying to set your roots or trying to build or lay foundations, but you've been having a very difficult time in doing that. But you have your eyes on someone. I don't know. I feel this. You do have, uh, you have your eyes on someone. You are eyeing somebody and you're hoping to get a commitment from someone because some of you do want to build this. As you can see, it's, it's laying down foundation. This is Saturn and Capricorn. Okay, this is resilience. Are some of you working on a relationship with a lot of hard work and you put in a lot of time? You've been putting on a lot of restraint too because you want something long-term. I also feel that you become, you know, like inflexible, like you're refusing to let a certain belief go and you've been punishing yourself. I don't know what this is talking about, Leo, but at the end, I have this. And when I see the ring, it is again, you know, rings are cycles. There's something very Saturnian going on here. But are some of you looking forward to getting a commitment from someone? Is that what you're looking at? Because this is about cycles, you know, round and round. But it's also about commitment. It's there on tap for you, Leo, if that's what you were looking for. Somebody has someone in mind. That is a given. You are eyeing somebody. You have somebody on your mind and you've set a goal, Leo. Okay. But why are you punishing yourself and putting overdoing stuff? I think some of you are overdoing something and you're hoping to get unstuck and get that commitment. Just putting this out there. Can you comment below? Let me know what you're going through. I'm just giving you the messages as I receive them. Now, feel free to swap the roles here. What do I mean by that? Apply this reading to you, Leo, or to the person you're thinking about when you come across this reading. Cross watchers, if you're watching this for a Leo, hello and welcome. If you know the zodiac sign of the person you're looking for, you're asking about, go to my channel, check those readings too, and I guarantee you, you will get additional messages there. My God, this whole bunch of cards wanted to fall out. So I'm gonna be using my Arcanum Tarot deck give you some messages. All right, Leos, let's go. Leos, lions, lionesses, my Leos. Oh boy, I don't know why half the deck just wanted to fall off. Now, let me show take all these cards. Oh my God, no, 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 no. I can't take all these cards. I'm gonna put these back because they just fell. And I'm gonna start with the cards I have here. Okay, Leo? So I'll show you what your major arcanas are to start. You have the Hierophant, this is Taurus. It's gonna be about a marriage or about an institution, a hierarchy. This is all that, all that. The sun, you have the sun. This is you, Leo. You are ruled by the sun. Look at you happiness, joy, everything which is beautiful, growth, your creative ideas, your projects, just love, childishness, happiness. You are showing up in your own reading now. I have the moon here. This is cancer. You know, the sun and the moon. The moon is about hidden, hidden things and secrets. The sun is about clarity. This whip that is coming in is going to give you clarity on something as to why you felt stuck. I feel this. And this could be about a, a committed partnership that you are in or you're wanting to be in. Because I know we have the Hierophant here. When the Hierophant and the ring comes out, I know this is a committed partnership. Okay? So. Then I have the Pisces card. Some of you are stuck. There is a lot of stuck energy. And that's why I feel this anchor, the two meanings, you know, that I gave you. One meaning is being stuck, not knowing what to do, feeling like you're stuck. You know, this anchor is what anchors this huge boat and doesn't allow it to move. You feel stuck like you're trying to move, but you can't. The world. I love to see this card here. 
This is a successful completion of a cycle. And if some of you are studying, because I felt this, you know, some of you are studying, you know, you could be graduating or completing a course because the world card is Jupiter and Jupiter is about knowledge. Okay. And with the Hierophant being here, you know, this is institutions of higher knowledge. Perhaps some of you are getting your degree or you're completing a course, you know, successfully. So if you are, congratulations. Now, let's see what we have here. We have a King of Cups here. Now, I think this is a couple. You know, when I see this, 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 this character here, this girl next door and that rose, for me, it always signifies like she is holding that rose, you know, like a cup of love because giving a rose to someone and that to a red one is always like offering them your love. And there is somebody here in that energy there. Okay. There is somebody, there's a king of cups. This is somebody who is a family person, uh, somebody who wants to give love. They're open to give love and you're showing up as the same. Are you eyeing somebody? I don't know if some of you are eyeing somebody or you're dealing with somebody or you're wanting a commitment from somebody. There's something going on here where you're looking. Because if, I, if you look at this card and if I look at this card, now she's looking at somebody, but if I hold it like this, it's like she's got her back turned to him. So if you're already dealing with the King of Cups, Okay, this could be a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. And the Pisces energy is here very strong. We have another card. We have the Hanging Man. Are you, got, are you in a relationship with a water sign like this? But you have your backs turned towards each other. And it almost feels like each of you is wanting to offer their cup or their rose to somebody else. Like this person is looking there, you're looking here. Are you studying a situation? Just putting this out there too. <laughs> Now, whatever the situation is, okay, when I see this Ace of Pentacles, there, was a, there is a potential or there was a lot of stability here. And then I have this, am I talking to a couple? Am I talking to a couple who are both looking away from each other today and they have their avenues open? I feel this. I feel both of you are looking away from each other. And this is a marriage. And somebody here feels stuck. Because see, the Ace of Pentacles is money on steroids, right? Pentacles are your money. You have created stability in the 3D. You have created something which you can you know, show and say, hey, this is our home. Hey, this is our business. Hey, this is da-da-da. You have created something. Okay? And I feel you also have a child. <laughs> You have a child. Now, it could also be that the girl next door is, is somebody who doesn't have a child, as in this person could be a father who has a child. And this is a child. This is a child who's very fiery, very driven and passionate. This is a page of wands. The pages are always messengers. They are the miniature versions of particular suit in the tarot now page of wands okay is a minor arcana of the fool because uh this is about risk taking this is coming up with a small passionate offer divine timing this is also about gossip this is good news coming in good news coming in if it's a child it's somebody who's very very smart and talented okay i'll tell you something there's been some gossip here okay in a marriage in a marriage in a committed partnership <laughs> Are some of you trying to leave a marriage where you felt stuck? You felt stuck, maybe because there's a child. But this gossip that is coming in is happening in divine timing. And somebody here is going to be triggered. You know, the fool is risk-taking. Take a risk. And there's somebody that you're watching, okay, who perhaps is showing up as somebody younger to you or somebody who is immature, you know, with an immature offer but it's a very passionate image you offer. Energetic, passionate. I don't know why I feel some of you are stuck in a situation and you want to get out. I don't know why. I don't know why. Now, in this particular relationship that you're in, there's been heartbreak. <laughs> there's been juggling. 
some of you are waiting for an opportunity to bounce. Why do I feel this? Somebody here is sick of being in a cycle with somebody. They're tired of going round and round and they have their eyes on someone. I can't shake this message off. And with the moon here, this heartbreak, okay, this juggling came to light with the sun. And I think this information came in like a whip. Have some of you been staying in a relationship because of the money ties and the children? And you've been punishing yourself. You're not happy. But you've stayed there to perpetuate this because of the children, because of the money ties. But some information has just come in to be another person, to be another woman. Because the moon is about your mother. It's about, it's, see, it's a, it's a card of cancer. It's a card of secrets. It's a card of things being done in the dark. And then if I have the three of swords, this is quintessential heartbreak, three people juggling. Somebody has been juggling somebody here and somebody has found this out. But they've, they, they've, they've felt stuck. That anchor card for me is like you felt stuck, like you could just can't move. And you've been punishing yourself because I think you forced yourself to stay in this relationship, even though you found out that the person you're dealing with here is not on the up and up. Is not on the up and up. And you've kept yourself stuck. And then when I see these cards, you've kept yourself stuck. And this is the 12th house again. This is the house of secrets, Pisces, the moon. Some hidden information has come out, but you've kept yourself stuck. You've not been able to sleep. Look at the progression. You have the two of swords. Now this is... This person is wearing that blindfold, even though they know that they can clearly see what's going on, but they don't want to see it. You knew that this is that there's some shit going on here in your committed partnership, but you chose to wear these blinders on and pretend like nothing is going on. You refuse to, you uncrossed, refuse to open your heart. You refuse, you can, at any point in time, you can just do this, remove the blindfold and see what? We have the moon here. See what's being shown to you, that secret you don't want to. You don't want to. And then you progressed. Feeling stuck. I go back to the anchor. You've kept yourself stuck. You've kept yourself stuck, Leo. Can you comment below and let me know? Maybe because you've had, you know, a lot of emotions, um, a lot of feelings for someone. And you felt that you just can't. You just can't set yourself free. But this is a prison that you've made because you've kept yourself anchored. Perhaps you convince yourself that I have to make this work. Eight of Swords is somebody who feels trapped. You know, it's a very victim kind of, again, the Pisces energy, very victim, you know, victim mentality. Like I have, this has happened to me and blah, blah, blah. I feel this. But you knew the signs were shown to you. And I feel somebody here is trying to find an intelligent way to bounce once they have found out about the deception. But in the meantime, they're staying stuck. And you become a prisoner of your own thoughts, not being able to sleep. You've had nightmares. You kept yourself stuck. You knew that this individual, there are options over. I'll give you another message. Once you found out about this shenanigans going on with the three of more than two people, you, them, and somebody else them juggling you with somebody else, okay? You kept your options open. And I know that there's somebody here who is in a commitment, but they know the truth about it, but they have their eyes on somebody else while they're in it. And they're waiting for their intelligent exit. Comment below, let me know, but you did find out that somebody has kept their options open and they're dealing with multiple people, perhaps online, not just you and somebody, a lot of people. And that's why you felt like an outsider. You've had to fight for their time. You've had to beg for their time. Dealing with somebody who's very guarded, very defensive. 
somebody who's expecting an attack all the time. Somebody who refuses to let their walls down and let you in. And you wondered why you felt like a beggar, begging for their time, for their attention. Now you know why. And you are intelligently waiting to exit. I feel this. I feel this. Can you comment below and let me know? Somebody's just kept you waiting. It's almost like, you know, whatever you, you know, this is, this is somebody who is uh, looking into the horizon, you know, for their ships to come in. It's like, you know, you're expecting them, but it's almost like for me, this energy is somebody's just waiting. Just waiting. <laughs> Just waiting. When is this going to happen? When am I going to uh, get get what I want? You're not getting it. You put in so much. Just strategizing. This is also about planning. What are you going to do now? You know, this is about choices. Yeah. I, I, I cannot shake this message. There, I'll, I'll just recap this reading for you. There's somebody here who is in a committed partnership. They have found out that the person they're dealing with is has many options. Okay. For a long time, they were in denial that this was going on. But once the clarity was given to them, okay, they saw the truth. They are strategizing today as to where they should put in their passion now. And they are looking to find an intelligent way to bounce from a relationship. Now, for a long time, and as all the pieces of the puzzle are coming together, why you felt like a beggar begging for their time, okay? How you, uh, you know, felt like you have to constantly ask them for money, time, love, everything. Because they had their options open. And you've got solid proof. Perhaps you've stayed because of your money ties and the children. That's why you felt stuck. But somebody else intelligently... Taking a break, trying to find where is my Pisces card? Another perspective by hanging upside down, looking at things from another perspective, find a way to get out of a situation. I feel this. Somebody here is taking a break, a very calculated break. And they have their eyes on somebody else and they're strategizing how to leave a partnership and they are going to bring this to a close. <laughs> This is ending a major karmic cycle, one that kept you stuck with the rings, you know, round and round. It kept you stuck. And you almost felt like you couldn't escape it. But this is a card of successfully completing a cycle. And then I have the minor arcana of the fool. This is the page of wands. This is you, the trigger, the trigger. To take a leap of faith towards something new is there. And there's a huge potential there because if I take the ace of pentacles there, this could be stability, money, home, you know, all that jazz. It's there for you and somebody here is strategizing. I almost feel that you are literally orchestrating the way you're going to end a relationship. Coming up with the plan. But you've been hurt. Huh? Let me make that clear. But you are staying in this till you have that plan orchestrated to complete it in this crescendo, in a successful way. Very intelligent. Almost like you want to have your backup ready before you bounce. Leo, can you comment below? Let me know what's going on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a different deck, okay? I'm going to take some cards from my situation tarot deck to see what additional or new messages I can give you. So my Leos. My Leos. Somebody's being very intelligent here. Very intelligent. Very intelligent. Also, perhaps they're being cautious here because they have children. But they have you have your eyes on somebody else. You have your eyes on somebody else and you're still in that relationship. I feel this. I'm going to take a card to see who, what that sign could be, okay? Give me two seconds. Let me just take a moment. <laughs> 
It's always a timing card for me. And the page of wands is also about divine timing. Okay. Somebody here is taking a break. I told you, somebody here is strategizing. They're taking a break. They are on a break. Be single. You are strategizing a plan to be single. Somebody is. And this card, this interview, conversation, get on the same page. I feel there's also somebody who's giving exams who's trying to complete some course. You're going to successfully complete it, let me tell you. And perhaps you'll be very soon called for a conversation or an interview that's going to make you extremely happy, Leo. Okay? I feel that too. Now, comment below, Leo. I'd love to hear from you. Okay. Okay. Now. Hold you. They were both showing up as the same. There has been betrayal here. You know, for me, both of these people are open to love. It's like a similar kind of a similar kind of a couple, okay? The divine masculine and the divine feminine are both in this reading. There are two people. They're showing up as the same uh, suit, the same type. Y'all are the same. But somebody here has really screwed up. Somebody has got anger issues. A lot of anger. And I feel this, this, this card for me sometimes, you know, I feel like they're very defensive. You're not even wanting to fight with them, but everything puts them in this state of fighting you. There's been a lot of arguments. And the whip, I told you, this card is a card of conflicts, fights, debates. You want to have coffee? I want to have tea. Even that is a fight. I mean, think about that. Somebody who's always defensive, but you don't even want to fight, but they want to. And they are waiting to explode. They have anger issues. <laughs> You're dealing with somebody who has anger issues now. Somebody is going towards divorce. You're going to be completing this karmic cycle with this person. You're completing the cycle. But I wonder if I'm talking to a couple who is in the process of getting a divorce. Okay. It could be a child. You're hoping to get a settlement because it's child alimony and, you know, government financial support. Somebody here is going towards a divorce. But I think, I think. Oh, before I forget, you did find out something in their journal. Something did come to light. And I think you found out about them having a lot of people that they're dealing with online, perhaps. You know, today a journal could be, you know, mails or texts, right? I don't know how many people are using a typewriter. I'm not. But I, hey, I don't judge you if you are. But I mean some kind of texts or messages, okay? You found it out that they were dealing with multiple people, perhaps online. They were juggling you with somebody else. Heartbreak. And the sun card here tells me that this came. <gasps> light. Now, let me come back to what I mean about somebody here is planning this retaliation. And you are still in a relationship with somebody, okay? But I think your revenge, I don't know why I'm getting this message, punish, payback, revenge, is going to be you exiting this and you already have somebody waiting for you. It's like your getaway car. What? Leo, are you waiting to exit a marriage? where you found out that there's been cheating and, you know, a lot of crap going on behind your back. You have your revenge ready. You have somebody waiting there for you. I feel this, Leo. You already have your eyes on somebody else. I cannot shake this. I cannot shake this. And perhaps that person is single. 
or you're waiting to be single, the minute you're single, boom, you are going to go towards somebody. I know this. <laughs> right now, you're just taking a break. I'll give you another message. This negotiating, bargaining, and begging. This is what you've done in this relationship all the time. And you've gotten nowhere. And I think some of you have punished yourself by staying here. Even though there's conflict, even though you felt like a beggar, always having to beg for their time, you've stayed there punishing yourself. And now, punish them. Leo. Click comment below, let me know. Comment below and let me know. It's a very different message I'm getting here. And I can't shake it off. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Let me take a card to see who could be coming towards you. These are just major arcanas to give us a zodiac sign, okay? So I'm going to take some papers as well. Who could be coming towards Not so many cards, please. This one fell first. We have the Empress. We have Taurus. Want me to say one more to see? <laughs> Look, the Hierophant has come for the second time. Second time. This is a body committed partnership. This is a body committed partnership. And I have the Gemini card. The lovers. So... You could have these two characters around you, but I think you know them. You know this person. Um, they could be on the cusp of uh, Taurus and Gemini, but this is about love for sure. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini who is on the cusp, you know, and you, you, you're waiting to get back with them. You have your eyes on them. You're just waiting to intelligently exit this relationship and get your revenge. You are. I can't shake this message off. Shall I take some kippers? Let me take some kippers. Wow, Leo. Kipper, can you give me some cards for my Leos, please? I got you. <laughs> Okay, you could be dealing with somebody who's got um, working in the law. This is somebody who is wearing a uniform. I don't know. You know, when I see that whip card, this is somebody who uh, loves to debate. Are you dealing with a lawyer? You know, somebody who wears a uniform. Somebody who, wears a un who has a good position in society. Okay, yeah. this is like the uh, official person. This is Taurus huh, again. Disciplined. Somebody who values hierarchy, you know, all, all that jazz. You know, perhaps you're dealing with somebody who's very regimented and everything, they're, they're very defensive. Perhaps they work for the military. I don't know. Comment below, let me know, please. They constantly, they, they, you're not fighting them, yeah? What nonsense. You're not coming there with a the bazooka, you're just asking questions. But for them, everything is like that. But there is, you're dealing with somebody who's very regimented. <clears throat> now, this card of preoccupation. Something has, somebody here has got, is preoccupied with something. Uh, concern, you know, despair, gloom, doubt, doom, which brings me to my sword cards here. Doom, gloom, doubts, helplessness. You feel like a victim. <clears throat> you felt like a victim. You've kept yourself stuck. Discouraged, insecure. I'm not saying they haven't fueled it, but you felt like that. I'm gonna take one more card. Adios, please.
Excellent. We have the gentleman here. We are the false person. You found out that somebody is hella fake in this relationship. Fake as fake AF. Totally fake. Okay. Totally fake. Totally fake. I mean, they've been wearing this mask. You know, and I feel this person works in the military thing. I cannot shake that out that they are somebody who has some kind of a position of great honor. And they uh, misuse that. They misuse that. Somebody who's very important, influential person, rich, power, strength, wise, mature old person. <laughs> Okay. False person. Dishonesty. It's a big signal that somebody's betraying you and you found out. The three of swords is just that. And the sad thing is that they've been doing it right under your nose. As you can see, there's a woman watching this child, okay, steal from this man. In broad daylight, I think this person misuses their authority and their position in society. Perhaps they are somebody who has a very high position, honorable position, but they're doing stuff in broad daylight, just like this the, in this card is being depicted. And there's somebody watching and laughing. I don't know what this is about. Yeah. It's a warning of, of theft, somebody stealing. Something is being taken away from you. Somebody is abandoning you. You know, I feel somebody has been doing something right under your nose. And I don't know why I think you've just refused to remove those blinders from your eyes. And you've just kept yourself stuck. But that whip coming in, you know, you, you've been like this. But they've been doing this under your nose. They, the universe was trying to show you you're dealing with somebody who's false. You know, when I say the Maison here, this is a home. Okay. But it also looks like the tower to me. Some information has come in and just ripped those glasses off your face. And, and, and. In the Kipper deck, the, the, there's this card of <clears throat> being sick, malady. Okay, is also about bed pleasures. Did you catch somebody in your home? I don't know, or in a hotel. You know that journal with those receipts? Maybe you found receipts that about them sleeping around in hotels. Can you comment below and let me know? And they have been doing this right under your nose, my darlings. Okay. And you know, when I see this child using, um, this, this woman using this child to steal something, perhaps they have used a child to keep you stuck. <laughs> They've been false all along. And I think they are courting, okay? Where is my seven of here? Multiple people. Multiple people. They're married to you or they're in commitment with you. Why do you need to be on Tinder? Uh, what? I don't know all those sites. You know, all those, all that. Why? Why are you pretending to be single on those sites and dating women and talking to them and, you know, putting yourself out there like, hey, I'm here. But why? Why? I'll give you another message that I'm getting because the moon is here. The moon is secrets. And in this card, you know, this card always speaks a lot to me. Um, I don't know if somebody has a womanly influence in their lives who's helping this person, you know, get away with a lot of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. And perhaps this person is pretending to be your friend, this, this feminine figure, but she, it's not. It's a false person. It's a false person. Bringing this to a close. Somebody is going towards legalities and there's no two ways about it. I love this card. Grand Bon. Bon her. I mean, this is just, I mean, look, money falling from the skies, man. I mean, I just want you to know whatever you're doing, whatever you're going towards is going to bring great happiness. This card of Sagittarius. This is one of the best cards in the deck. This is, you know, energy like you, fire. It's like the sun card for me. 
And all this is a card of Leo, but it's a fire sign just like Sag. Okay. This card literally, you know, abolishes or negates all the negative cards. The theft and the false person are big negative cards to have in the Kippa deck. And be rewarded. Some of you are going to be rewarded for intelligently being able to leave a situation. I know this. I don't know if you're going to get a huge settlement because a car settlement came out in the uh, situation tarot deck. Or there's just something of great fortune that's coming your way. Let me take some nature's whispers, oracle cards for you, Leo. Can you comment below? Let me know, Leos, please. No, Leos. Leo, open your heart. You're all about the Anahata. Okay. The fifth house is about that. Things we love. It's the heart. You are the heart energy. You are the sun. Open your heart. Some of you have kept your hearts closed. You know, when I see this card, I feel like that. Just don't want to open it. Open it. Open your eyes and open your heart. Seek beauty and heighten your vitality. Some of you have given up on yourselves for a long period of time. I feel this. And the seek beauty, I think, You've lost your zest for life. And Leo, that, that can't work with you. <laughs> You're the sun. Perhaps you've just given too much in this because you've been punishing yourself by staying in a situation that is unhealthy. It's toxic. Perhaps that's why your vitality has reduced because you're not happy. This vessel, you know, that carries your soul and you're traveling, you know, intergalactically, you're on, you are on earth at this moment. Who knows where you're going next is not happy, okay? Because you are putting yourself in a situation that is toxic, unhealthy, where you're being mistreated, but you're punishing yourself by staying there. There's a lot of arguments and conflict, but you're staying there. Perhaps to keep up appearances, constantly bargaining and begging, but you're staying there. And that's why your vitality has reduced. The body is giving you signals. Seek beauty. And that beauty is within you, Leos. Do not forget that. You know, I see this card be in service. It's very much like the Virgo energy. The sixth house, one house after yours. It's to go within. That's the Virgo archetype. He takes that lantern, the hermit. He shines his bright light, just like the sun, inside him, into those dark corners where his fears are. He looks for answers. The Virgo card is also a card of gentle snooping. They are the Nancy Drews of the Zodiac. Perhaps you went snooping and you found that journal filled with crap. You found receipts. But now you can't unsee what you've seen, Leos. But somebody is waiting to get their revenge because they already have somebody waiting for them. You know, I'm getting this Bonnie and Clyde. I'm not, 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 not in the murder thing, but as if you have your gateway car ready, that you're going to get through with this settlement. You're going to leave this relationship and you're going to bounce because you have somebody waiting there for you and that is going to be a slap on this person's face who has put you in a third party, who has juggled you and who's kept their options open. Can you comment below? Let me know. Please like, share and subscribe. Leo, I've really enjoyed bringing this message to you and I hope you've liked it too. And I cannot wait to come back again to another reading. Until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you and namaste. Bye.